Just put together a new distiller invention. And it's nothing but a dog bowl. One of those classic shape no tip dog bowls. And I obviously took a wrench and bent up uh, the edge. So the edge would be higher. So that when I fill this side with water, uh, the water can uh, can cover the top. And then I bashed in, bashed this in, bashed it up so that it would be um, more at an angle for the distillate, the water that I'm trying to distill or whatever I'm trying to distill, it'll, it'll collect on the cool bottom side right here and then it'll trickle down uh, down the sides and into a bump pan and I used the rubber ring that was on the the base of the dog bowl and took that off and I cut it and uh, cut it and taped it to fit uh, around the rim of the, the ring pan or the bump pan so that it's a perfect seal and then you just got a regular, I believe these are called number two, um, number two cans. They're uh, number one cans are the large coffee cans. And then the next size down is number two can. Number two cans fit perfectly <coughs> on the bottom of a regular size ring pan. So, and I collected a bunch of sap yesterday from pine trees. I'll put this in here, chamber. The collection chamber and you want to keep that as cool as possible so the walk helps to divert the heat off to the side and and the water that's on top helps to keep um, this upside down dog bowl cool so that the rising vapors coming up through the bunt pan um, are attracted to the cool wall of the dog bowl and they collect and they as they collect and form droplets and gravity takes them down so you can hear popping and that's the, uh, the sap uh, bubbling and releasing moisture so you know it's done when the popping stops Awesome. A lot of oil. It's nice. Hair turpentine. It smells so good. In a half an hour, you can at least get this. There'll be um, probably a quarter more of that once all this settles. I'm gonna let this settle also. Once they settle in those two vessels, there should be even more than this. This is the best lice prevention out there. Better than tea tree oil. Turpentine. Every part of my scalp has turpentine on it. Woohoo! Winter maintenance. Uh, and it's in a sustainable way. Something that you can sustain without having to pay $12 per what we just had right there. Normally tea tree oil, and there's still more left. Normally tea tree oil cost uh, like 12, 10, 12 bucks for uh, a one ounce bottle, which is basically what we just collected. We just collected a, an ounce of turpentine um, from a can, a soup can of sap in a half an hour. And turpentine is more 
powerful than tea tree oil. So, someone can start a business, small scale business, easily. They sell bigger ring pans too. Yeah, they sell even larger ring pans that you can get an even larger dog bowl for. And distill uh, twice as much. That, that opening is twice twice the space as uh, the smaller one. So you should be able to distill two ounces of turpentine every um, half hour. So like four ounces an hour. Four ounces an hour for this and um, two ounces an hour, an hour for that. Um, depending on the moisture content of the the sap, I guess, and the oil content of the sap. 